hey guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl kinesthetic with the kinesthetics and i'm here with you guys today with another day of vlogtober another day of vlogtober girl girls in case you guys are new here my name is kendra aka kinesthetic and whoa my name is kendra aka kinesthetic with the kinesthetics and I post videos about whatever I'm interested in at the time. So whether that be beauty, travel, lifestyle, we do it all here on this YouTube channel. And we have a great time, if I do say so myself. So make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your bell notifications. I'm posting new videos every other day of this month of October. So make sure you guys tune in because we having a good old time. At least I think so. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts, comments, questions, opinions. Anything that's on your mind after you watch today's video, leave it down below in the comments. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually in the middle of recording a favorites video right now. So you guys should have seen that on my YouTube channel already. My full favorites video. But my battery had died. So we had to take a quick little intermission. So I'm going to finish recording this video now because we have a few things to do today. We have a few things we're gonna do today so let's go ahead and um wrap this up and then we can move on and head out the house to run our errands so i'm getting ready because today i have a few things to do call gaia and gaps collaboration launched today and it came out online but i wanted to see it in store to see if i was really in love before i um swipe card and also i didn't know what size to get i don't know how gap sizing goes so hopefully they have something left for me in the store i'm gonna go to the gap in the galleria mall i have a yoga class this evening i want to go to trader joe's too because i need to get some essentials so that's what we're doing today fragrance of the day is this fragrance that i got in the last vlog radiant grace from philosophy it smells so good <laughs> i know you know big k i'm in the back big k i'm in the back i don't play with her oh, it smells so good like i really just want to bathe in this scent it smells so good and it doesn't smell like anything else i currently have in my fragrance collection which i love in the tour i haven't had a coffee today because i don't have coffee creamer which is one of the reasons i need to go to trader joe's but i'm gonna take cold brew with me so once i get the creamer i can make my own coffee i think it's smart and not hard on my lips one of my favorites on the go coffee cups this is from the brand cork Cork circle, cork circle. Cold brew, Starbucks, y'all tu sabes. I need all of that because I am exhausted. I'm gonna take this with a straw and we're gonna head out. So I'll see you guys when we get to the first destination because I feel like I'm prolonging the process of looking at the house. No blast a thing, blast a man can't just stop picking seat. I love to play the villain. I like to make a killing in the disco. On my way to Trader Joe's, but of course there's Houston because of course there's Houston. Of course there's traffic because duh, it's Houston. I'm just I take time, like I think a lot when I'm driving. Not just about driving, but like when I'm in the car and like I'm jamming to music. It's so therapeutic because I could literally sit with my thoughts. I don't have to worry about being in my phone, checking emails, doing this, doing that. Like I'm literally focused on driving and then I could use the little extra brain power that I have available to just reflect on my thoughts. I also need your suggestions on what you guys think I should dress up as for Halloween because I just got invited to a Halloween party today. So comment and let me know your costume ideas. Last year I dressed up as like a fairy but that was super last minute. I just ran to Windsor and got some wings and a dress and I did my makeup real cute if you guys remember. But this year I want to actually like put more thought and time and energy into my costume so let me know what you guys think i should dress up as i kind of want to dress up as like a foxy lady i think that's what you would call it with like the afro and like the gold jewelry and like you know what i'm saying i could do that so let me know what other suggestions you guys have down below i really want something where i could like play and like have fun with my natural hair and like make that be a part of my costume so let me know what you guys think down below oh my god i slept so terribly last night i have a crook in my neck i got exactly what i needed from trader joe's but y'all guess what they had the biscuits if you've been following my vlogs i told y'all that trader joe's had a issue with the 
supplier of the biscuits and they didn't have them for like a month so when i went in today they had a few left so i got two and then i got my coffee creamer which i'm about to put in my cold brew right now miss mama's is in my business hard hard but my favorite thing is staring back and <laughs> being in miss mama's business right back okay four o'clock traffic is bad 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 tell me where you there tell me where you there because i'll be on my way iced coffee check 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 my days are never the same when i don't have my coffee and i'm exhausted but call gaia and gap came out with a collection together and it's giving gap prices versus call gaia prices so hopefully they have stuff left in store so i could try it on and see if there's anything i want to purchase So I went in the mall. I tried on the Cult Gaia Gap collection. First of all, everything is like sold out online. They did have a lot in the Gap in Houston Galleria. But they didn't have the denim top and I really wanted the skirt with the top. So I'm just like, oh, I didn't end up getting anything. The jacket was fire, but 320 Gap? 320? 328? You bought dollars? Yeah, no. So I just went to Whole Foods and I needed a little snack before my yoga class. So I got this to try. This is a half day peach iced tea. It says it has three grams of sugar and it has prebiotic benefits. And I don't know, we gonna see. It was on sale for like, I think like $2. Let's see. It's all right. It's all right. It tastes sugar free. And then I got one of these. Well, I got two of these. Vegan blueberry muffins. I needed something to hold me over, child. Hmm. Yeah, I already know how I feel about these. So good, so soft, so moist. Like, okay, let's go to yoga. Good morning and happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, October the 12th. And I actually slept in this morning. It's currently 9.33. I wanted to wake up at like 7 to go to the gym. But I was like, girl, you had a long week. And did. So I was like, let me stay in this bed a little longer. And then go to the gym. So I just got dressed to go to the gym. I'm going to start my day off working out. And then today I'm really excited because I want to go to a farmer's market today. Well, I'm going to go to a farmer's market today. So this will essentially be like our first fall activity, I believe. I told you guys, work has been working, okay? But the bills have to get paid. So work comes first and everything else comes after. So now that I have a little bit of like free time, I was like, okay, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to a farmer's market today and I'm going to bring you guys along. I'm taking my ginger shot of the day. This one right here. Cheers to a healthy immune system. I usually let it sit out before I take it, but I ain't have time for that. And I'm like, with the weather changing so abruptly, you need to make sure that you are taking these as a preventative action because we don't have time to be sick, child. I also have wanted to go to the mall today because I have something exciting coming up and I had some things to review. So I will probably go to the mall today, we'll see. But I just went to the mall the other day as you guys saw when I went to Gap. So I'm like, but I didn't know by then, but it's okay. I'ma just go back. But I prefer to go to the mall early on Saturday. So if I don't go to the mall today, I'll go tomorrow after church. But yeah. Let's go to the gym, y'all. I look crazy. I have a twist, twist up. No, not even a twist up. The twist is still in. So I have twists in. But I just put them up in a ponytail so that they're not like flying all over the place. And then I'm gonna have my headphones on so it's gonna serve as like a little headband. I have this gym formula down packed by now. Like how to go to the gym when you don't look together but you wanna look put together, you know? And also I'm the type of person who I don't wanna look 
<laughs> okay, let me let me say this in a in an appropriate way. I don't care to get myself together too much at the gym because I don't like too much attention in the gym. You get what I'm saying? You don't have a ring. I'm the city camera. You've been, you've been, you've been, you've been. They need me to go, but I don't want to leave. Rest in peace, little key. Fuck a pigeonhole. I'm a night out. This is different mode. I'm going to have to make a pain of six on a pinky toe. Heard you with a shooting guard. Just let a nigga know. I would have your court side, not the middle row. All good love in a minute, though. I can't stress about no bitch because I'm a timid soul. Plus, I'm cooking up ambition on the kitchen stove. Pot start to bubble. See the suds. That shit good to go. I love girls like her cause Yes. <laughs> hey guys, so I just got ready. I threw on this Skims romper. This is from years ago from the Skims Outdoor Collection. Okay, it fits real nice. And then I just put on some gold jewelry. And scent of the day is Radiant Grace from Philosophy. Smells so good, perfect for the fall season. I kind of want to layer it with this uh, replica afternoon delight. So we're going to try this combo today. And my hair twist out using my Giovanni mousse that I showed you guys in my fall favorites video. So, yeah. I'm gonna pick some shoes, a bag. Ooh, the girls is looking real. Excuse me? Excuse me? Yeah, okay, period. I didn't wanna do makeup today because it's hot outside. And also, I was like, if I go to the mall, I'll be like trying stuff on. And I don't like shopping with makeup on. So, I just went heavy with today's skincare. To give like nice glowy natural skin and I'll probably throw on like some sunglasses as well. I need to do a better job of showing you guys my outfits. So as I mentioned, the jumpsuit is from Skims. Bag, I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton on the BB just because it matches. And also I could go ahead and put it on as a crossbody when I need my hands. Sneakers are my Nike Romero's. These are the oatmeal colorway. These are the first pair of Romero's that I ever got. You guys know I love Romero's. And then... This bracelet is from Marshall's watch. is my vintage Hermes watch and my earrings are from ASOS. I'll link all available items down below. And this jumpsuit, baby, I should have got it in every color because the way it has me looking thick, like, excuse me? Excuse me? So yeah, let's go ahead and head out. I'm going to the, I think it's called like the Houston Farmer's Market. First Farmer's Market in Houston. I've been to farmer's markets back when I lived in New York, but I've never been since I moved to Houston. So we're going to go scope the scenery and see what's hitting for it. They also have like a pumpkin fest today or this weekend. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what it's hitting for. So I just pulled up to the farmer's market. We're going to have a good time. Like I'm excited. I'm so excited. Let me see how my TikToks are doing. So this is in the Heights area in Houston. I think it happens every Saturday and Sunday in case you guys are interested in coming. And they have like fall activations like on the weekends during October. So I don't know why my camera stops recording after a while. I don't like that because I don't be paying attention. I just be chatting. But let's go ahead and head inside. Let's go. These glasses are from Marnie, by the way. I bought these a few years ago from Satire, so I'll link them down below if they are available. But I just feel like I needed a little pop of color, a little certain set, and these were perfect, so yeah.
So I was gonna try this under belly burger place, but everything basically had dairy and your girl doesn't eat dairy. So I think I'm just gonna get like a little drink from here and then um, go get food elsewhere because I'm not trying to die today. Today's not my day, Lord. This is so good. It's a lemon cucumber cool water. Fire. So the farmer's market was cool. I feel like it was good for me to just try it out or like just visit and see what it's hitting for so i know like okay when i'm looking for this going forward i could go here they have like produce plants spices meat like everything here so i will be coming back majority of the uh vendors are hispanics and then they have kind of like a sub market in the back with like jewelry um body oils and stuff like that like other vendors so it's cool and then they had the little pumpkin patch of the kiddos and stuff but now child i need some food because i tried to get underbelly but basically everything had dairy in it and i'm like by the time i take everything off of it i'm gonna just be left with a piece of lettuce i'm not paying for lettuce not when there's lettuce outside in a bulk for cheaper mm -mm. i don't know what i want to eat i'm gonna figure it out and then we're gonna get food <laughs> Okay, so I found this place and I looked online and the food looks like the food look at hey, it's called Thai Thai Market Street Food, Street Food Thai Market, one of the two. But let's go see what it's hitting for. Okay. Are you waiting to order? No, they like oh the egg is it over no I need to eat my whole meal I'm not eating around an egg when I said no egg so this is a basil fried rice a chicken okay. tastes kind of wet I need that sauce the farmer's market so let me do a little haul of everything that I got so I got half a pound of flax seeds so you guys remember when i did the pre-shampoo i was basically saying that it didn't really have a jelly consistency so i believe what i have to do is like make flaxseed gel and mix it with that coconut water and aloe um blend but this is how much half a pound was this was three dollars i forgot what it was called in spanish but the lady was like this is flaxseed i'm like hold on mommy i have to translate because you're not about to rob me and then i got half a pound of lychees i've never had like fresh lychees before so that's all I got, girl. And this was $3 a half a pound. So that's everything that I got from the farmer's market. I was laying down on my blanket and I feel like the blanket is all over my lip gloss now. But that food, the street Thai food that I decided to try, it was cool. Like it was probably like a 6.5 out of 10, 6 out of 10, 6 out of 10 to be generous. It was cool, but it's nothing compared to the Thai food that I usually get from Thai Cottage. So, yeah, I wouldn't have it again. Maybe, I don't know. I get basic stuff, so I don't know if they're known for their other things. But the the basil fried rice and the lemongrass chicken, it was, it was okay. I'm going to eat it just because I bought it, but I won't be going back. I'll put it like that. 
But Kim gave me the genius idea to use the lychees that I got from the farmer's market and make lychee lemonade. So I was looking online and there's a lot of recipes for like strawberry lychee lemonade. But I need to get lemonade and I need to get strawberries. So I'm about to go to Target slash Walmart real quick to pick those up. I like cold pressed lemonade and I never knew that Target had a version. So I just looked online and... I think it says that the talk about me has it in stock. I really don't feel like driving far. I was like, oh, I should go to Trader Joe's, but then I'm like, the traffic, the traffic will turn me off real quick. Traffic will make a difference real quick. And also today's the last day of Target Circle Week. So part of me is like, ooh, what else do I need? Child, I don't need nothing else from no Target Circle Week. But they had the 30% off of the clothes all week. I thought it was just for the one day. So yeah, oh, they have panties, buy three, get two free. I might have to take a gander. I might have to take a gander and they have 30% off Christmas decor and Christmas trees. I don't need any of that. I will be using last year's. 50% off coffee creamer, 50% off coffee and tea. Oh, buy one, get one 50% off, oopsies. Missed the first part. You gotta buy one to get the 50. <laughs> I'm back home. What's this that they gave me at the Thai restaurant? They look like jalapenos. Aqua. I don't know, y'all. But I'm back home now and I got the goods from Trader Joe's. So literally all I got was the lemonade. Ooh, lemonade. I like Trader Joe's lemonade because it is unpasteurized. So in case you guys don't know, unpasteurized means that while they were turning the fruit into the juice, they didn't heat it up because once it gets heated up, the pro is that it kills certain bacteria that may be on the fruit or in the fruit. But the con is that once it gets heated up, it loses most of the nutritional value of the fruit or the vegetable. So I just prefer the Trader Joe's unpasteurized lemonade. And then I got three of these sweet potato fries. I have been going to Trader Joe's for the past month. And every time I go, these have been sold out. So there were only four left and I left one for somebody. So I was being mindful, I was being considerate. Okay, let me set up my phone so we can make a TikTok. I went to the farmer's market today and I got some fresh lychees. I have never purchased fresh lychees before. Let me show you. Ah, they look so scary. I was intrigued. I'm like, what is this? The lady was like, it's lychees. And I'm like, ooh, give me some. Look at it. It looks so creepy. Ah. This is how it looks. Y'all know a lychee. Y'all know a lychee. And I let the lady pick them for me because I didn't know how to pick lychees. But if you guys have any tips on how to like pick lychees, comment and let me know. I have my lychees in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the lemonade. And these shirts. It looks a little, <laughs> it look a little cummy. Let me add some more lemonade. <laughs> okay. Serving over ice. Cheers. That's good. That's good, but I feel like I need to strain it. This is so good, y'all. Hold on, let me call Kim. One person. Oh I'm here faithfully FaceTime her. I'm figuring this kind of wrong person. Whoa. Why I just got jumped? By who? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> your reaction was too calm for me. I need you to be more on your way to Houston. Yeah. It was given, I'm staying in Philly. <laughs> Created a masterpiece. That's what I did. It was so good. I just blended the lychees with the lemonade. Oh, the Trader Joe's lemonade. Oh, you blended it together. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, editing Kendra here. I forgot to record an outro for this vlog. But the lychees, 10 out of 10. If you guys can find lychees at your local farmer's market, highly recommend to get it and specifically to try lychee lemonade. It was so good. The black seeds, I'm going to show you guys what I did with them either in the next vlog or in the next two vlogs. But you guys are going to see. And I'm super excited to try them with you guys. And I'm super excited to go back to Houston farmer's market. So if you guys made it all the way until the end of this video, comment down below with a fruit emoji. 
leave a strawberry a banana a, i don't think it's a lychee emoji but y'all get the point comment with a fruit emoji so i know who my girls and my boys who made it all the way until the end of this video are i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next one I'm outside.